a couple of times by the Mets. Tom Browning takes it out on Tim Tuffle's back, right in the middle of it. Tuffle thought about it, but Strawberry acted on it. Strawberry had hit an earlier home run, and here comes Eric Gregg lumbering in and caught from behind by the two benches. Strawberry will get hit in the side of the head by Tracy Jones, and by this time, Bedlam had broken loose. Later in the game, ninth inning, Franco against Mookie Wilson, the chopper. The throw will be late, but so is the call. And as Dave Pallone waits to make the call, Howard Johnson scores, and Pete Rose gets angry. Watch closely as Pallone appears to touch Rose. Rose throws a shoulder into him. Pallone throws him out of the game, but Rose had more to say. A 14-minute delay as Riverfront Stadium was showered with debris. The umpires finally felt there was too much pressure on them. They took off and got more showers. Marge Schott tried to calm things down as the Mets had beaten her team. Pallone eventually was unable to finish the game because of the threats coming from the stands. And in the aftermath, Pete Rose has had a reaction to what happened last night. You guys can see where he, where, he, where, he, where he hit me with his finger, too. He said he didn't touch me. I, if I'm not mistaken, that's a cut of my chin. And I don't think anybody else cut me in that uh, little... He was the only one around me. He said he didn't touch me, so you got it on camera there? That's why I pushed him. You know, no one's going to come close to poking me in the eye. In addition to ex displaying that evidence, Rose said today that he would accept the suspension only if one is also given to Dave Pallone. Rose said... I pushed him and I was wrong. I just hope Bart Giamatti, the National League president, asked from my side of the story.